It's winter in the Himalayas. Some of the most inhospitable terrain in the world. We're at 15,000 feet in temperatures well below freezing. But even here, a herder is making his slow way across the landscape. While just a few thousand feet away, in a rocky canyon, is one of the most elusive creatures in the world, the snow leopard. Hearing that a snow leopard is in the canyon, our cameraman, Sandesh Kadur, sets out. It takes about three hours of walking in two foot snow to get to the location. And it's all uphill going there. From the far side of this wind-swept gorge, Sandesh waits for action. The snow leopard has become the holy grail for natural history filmmakers, but is notoriously difficult to find. And this is the only way to keep the wind off the lens, which otherwise shakes like an earthquake. That's almost impossible to film. The weather's been horrible the last two days. Finally, there's a break in the weather and Sandesh strikes gold. I can't believe it. Laying in front of us on that ledge are two snow leopards. I really hope they wake up. But a few hours later, the leopards are still asleep, and in these sub-zero temperatures, the crew starts to freeze. The only way to avoid frostbite is to keep your legs moving. Otherwise, it already feels like a rock. Ah, the one thing I can say for sure is that any longer up here, we are going to be frostbit and we may have to be hospitalized in such extreme habitats. Oh, I wish. I was as adapted to this mountain habitat as is the snow leopard, but unfortunately, I'm not. I'm from South India, and this cold is extreme. Whew. And then suddenly, the female makes a move. The moment they've been waiting for. Guides and porters gather around to watch as the female begins to walk through her landscape. This winter ghost is perfectly adapted to her surroundings. Thick layers of fur. Markings that allow her to disappear into the snow and rock. And where the female is headed is completely unexpected. There are not two, but four snow leopards hidden in this canyon. This female has cubs. They're about five months old. Born last summer, their mothers probably kept them out of sight in a den in the cliffs. But now they're old enough to come out and explore. The cubs are still a bit wary of this huge landscape, but they'll learn. Remote as this area is, you'd expect the snow leopards to be safe from human expansion. But every year, their monopoly on this desolate territory is shrinking. Just a short distance away is the village of Kibber, at 14,000 feet plus, 
it is one of the highest inhabited villages in the world. The small community has been here for centuries, despite the cold and ice. But things are changing fast. As the planet warms and ice recedes, there will be new land emerging at ever higher altitude. Land that could be cultivated for crops or used as pasture for livestock. Scientists warn that as much as a third of the snow leopard's Himalayan range will be taken over by humans by the end of this century, effectively squeezing the snow leopards into smaller, higher ranges. Even for these adaptable creatures, there must be a limit to how high they can go. Sandesh has dedicated his career to showcasing the rarest creatures of his homeland. So these precious moments captured on film are the fulfillment of a dream. Just to be here and to actually see snow leopards in their habitat has been one of the most incredible experiences of my life.